here at your service to do yet another math video. And guess what? I am finally going back and doing the last eight videos, I believe I have, in the fifth grade. Go math. Woohoo! Yeah, that's really a call for celebration. It like only took me like three years. Such a long time. But here we go. Let's get started. We have lesson 11.1. That's right. We're in that world of geometry. Yeah, that's right. Not a really highly tested item in the kind of state testing kind of thing, but still very important in our future with mathematics. That's right, my friends. Look at the topic. We have polygons. And then it says our essential question, which is our learning target, my friends. It's what we're focused on. Now they actually call them learning intention. I know the words, they just keep changing, but they all mean the same thing. It's our, our focus and what it is that we're going to learn today. And the question states, how can you identify and classify polygons. Oh, I like that. Identify, like name them. And classify kind of means that we're actually put them maybe in a particular group based on any attributes or characteristics that they have. Well, let's get started. You know, my friends, we can't do anything until we unlock the problem. That's right, my friends, because it's real world, baby. Real world. Real world. Okay. It says the Castel del Monte in Apulia, Italy was built more than 750 years ago. Wow. The fortress has one central building with eight surrounding towers. Which polygon do you see repeated in the structure? How many sides, angles, and vertices does this polygon have? Well, I see one, I see two right over here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, I see eight sides. Oh. But it does say here, it does say a polygon is a closed plane figure. What's a plane figure? He's just a flat. He's just on a piece of paper, right? When you think of 3D, I think of 3D glasses. I know everything looks so large and it has so much volume and substance to it. A closed plane figure, it's just a drawing of a geometric figure on a two-dimensional plane, which is like... A piece of paper. That's right. So it does say that it's closed. Okay, so you can't have any open ends. It's formed by three or more line segments that meet at points called vertices. Okay, three or more. Okay, so a triangle would be a polygon. And it says it is named by the number of sides and angles it has. To identify the repeated polygon in the fortress, complete the tables below. Yeah, let's take a look at the table here. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, now, what do we have here? Oh, we have, okay, we have a column here. This is polygon, and it says the sides, the angles, and the vertices. Okay, and here we have the triangle. has three sides. Hello, that's like kindergarten. Yeah, and quadrilateral obviously means it has four sides. We have a pentagon. The pentagon happens to have five sides. Now we have to kind of keep on going. Okay, well, a hexagon has six sides, so I'm going to put a six there. Okay, and then we come over here. Triangle has three angles. Yes, it does. And these are angles. It's where two line segments meet. Creates an angle. Okay, very cool. Quadrilateral has four. Hmm, pentagon has, well, this is tricky because it looks like there's like a little Pac-Man guy here. Oh, yeah. Chomp, 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 chomp. Okay, pentagon, we have one angle here two angles here, three, four, and you're wondering, well, that doesn't really have an angle. It's going the opposite way, but actually, this is an angle from here to here. It's actually larger than a straight line, which is 180 degrees. Oh, look, it's right here. Sometimes the angles inside a polygon are greater. There it is, right there. It's Pac-Man. Woohoo! Okay, right, Mr. Warren. So we have five angles here, and we have six angles here, because again, we could just count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yay! Okay, now we have vertices. Oh, I have vertices and angles are very similar. Okay, I should probably be more clear. See, a vertex, the singular, vertex, okay, is actually where the two lines actually come together. Let me get my eraser. There, I erased that so I could kind of point this out. So this is really the vertex right here. It's where these two lines come together. That is a vertex. And so there are three of them. Now, an angle actually refers more to kind of this change in direction where we can measure from this line to this line. 
So that's like an angle. This is an angle. Here's an angle. Quadrilateral has the same. It has here four angles. And again, the vertex is where those two lines meet. So it's going to be four. Can you see a pattern here? Is this going to be five? It is because, again, it still has that vertex where the two lines meet right here. Ah, here's a perfect example. So with this angle, this is an angle because it's showing that change of direction from that one line to the other. Okay, I see a pattern here, don't you? Woohoo! Okay, let's go down and look at uh, some more. Wow, we're going up to seven. A heptagon. A heptagon has seven sides. An octagon has eight sides. That's what we saw up above. A nonagon. A nonagon? Like it's not even a polygon. Get it? Non, you're not, you're not a guy. <laughs> you're not a polygon. Nonagon is actually nine. And then a decagon, like a decade, ten. Woo! And they're all polygons. Again, we have some angles here to look at. We have this angle here. That's one angle, one. Here you see two, three, four, five, six. And again, this one here, seven. So there's seven angles. And many sides is how many angles there are. Same thing here. We're going to see eight angles, nine angles, and of course, 10 angles. And we have to have that because every time we have that change of those line directions, and they have to be straight lines, right? You know? That's very important. Yeah. Okay. Vertices is going to be the same. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Also, the blank is the repeated polygon in the Castel del Monte. Okay. We already decided the uh, octagon. Octagon because it had eight sides. Uh, it has eight sides, eight angles, and eight vertices. Oh, woo -hoo. Yeah, yeah. Says, what pattern do you see among the number of sides, angles, and vertices a polygon has? Yeah, we saw the pattern. They're the same. It has the same number of sides, same number of angles, and same number of vertices. Super easy. Okay, page master. Yeah. Ooh, now we have regular polygons. When line segments have the same length, or when angles have the same measure, they are congruent. Two polygons are congruent when they have the same size and the same shape. Oh, okay. In a regular polygon, all sides are congruent and all angles are congruent. So this pretty much makes it pretty obvious. So a regular polygon right here is telling us, it's giving us a definition, it's all sides are congruent, means they're absolutely the same, and all angles are congruent, means they're the same. Let's see, they're going to give us two examples. A regular polygon says here, all sides are congruent, all angles are congruent, and it says you can write measurements to show congruent sides and angles. And as you can see, we have four centimeters, sure, that length's the same as this one, you can see the pattern, okay? So here we have ourselves a, in this case, we actually have a pentagon, because there's five sides. A pentagon just has to have five sides. Next door, we have not a regular polygon. Oh, yeah, no, not all sides are congruent, not all angles are congruent, and it says you can use the markings, some, um, same markings to show the congruent sides and angles. Oh, I wish I was a regular polygon. Yeah, I'm sorry, buddy. You're not there. You're just not that, it's okay. Everybody has their own strengths, you know. It's just not one of yours. You're just a not a regular polygon. So sorry. Yes. Now it says, try this. Label the Venn diagram to classify the polygons in each group. Then draw a polygon that belongs only to each group. Ooh, I got some work here. And then we have congruent blank, congruent blank. Okay, well, we were just talking about congruent uh, sides, weren't we? Yes, sides, I believe. Congruent sides. Oh, wait a second here, though. Mm, looking at my diagram. No, 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 no. Ooh, I put that in the wrong spot. Eraser. Come on, eraser. Come on out. Okay. Boom. Okay. I know. I was trying to sneak. So this side should be equal uh, congruent angles. Can you see that? Yeah. And on this side should be congruent sides. Because I can tell by looking at the, the picture of these figures. You see how this, this side here, it's letting us know, even with this line here, I can actually see this is a parallelogram. But since all these sides are equal, this actually makes it a, a rhombus. All right, so see, those little lines are letting you know that they're all equal. So this is referring to sides, and then this is referring to the angle. Even though these two sides here are equal in this rectangle, you can see that the little square right there 
is letting you know that that angle is a 90 degree angle and they all have 90 degree angles. Therefore, that's right. Therefore, they're congruent. Okay, now let me see what comes down here. It says regular, okay, these are these guys here. Oh, regular uh, polygons, because look at, they have everything the same. The square and the triangle. Yes, they're regular polygons. Poly, which means many, and then gone, polygon. Regular polygon, gons, with an S. Yes, I'm just learning my plural. Okay, and so now we have to draw, I think it says, okay, because up above it said, it says, then draw a polygon that belongs only to each group. Okay, let's see here, which ones will I do? It means I need one for the congruent angles, and only that one, okay. I need one for the regular polygons, and I need one for the congruent sides. Okay, so let me see, what would I draw? Well, I think for the, uh, here they're just like rectangles. I can't really, I just draw a different size rectangle, right? I could just draw like a thicker one. Like, okay, all right, so my lines aren't super straight. Okay, what can I say? We're gonna pretend though, that there's all straight lines and we have 90 degree angles, okay? There we go, and Mr. War's reality, that is a perfectly drawn rectangle and you know it, that's right. And so that means these two sides are actually congruent. This side is congruent with that side. Has to be, because we have right angles. That's the reason why that is true. Okay, for regular polygons. Okay, well, you know what? I remember the picture above was one. It was our pentagon. Where are you? Dun, dun, dun. Mm. There you are. See, look at that. If I could draw one of those, that would be really cool. I would try. So it's kind of like this way a little bit, and then kind of down kind of over and of course we're going to pretend yeah okay probably not the most well drawn <laughs> but we're going to pretend okay so all these sides are equal that means the angles too are equal i guess we do this that will so know they're all the same even though they might not look the same they are in remember mr war's world that's right in my little fake reality. All right, and then we come over here to uh, congruent sides. Oh my goodness, I don't know. We could congruent. Oh, you know, we could do something like this. Just make them like congruent this way. Yeah, make every line the same. Oh, look at I'm making the red cross. Yeah, that would work. They all have equal sides, but they don't all have equal angles, do they? All right, that size. Uh, okay, congruent sides, just not angles. Woo, what a doozy. Okay, let's look at what we have here. It's time for the share and show. All right, that's cool. That means if you have your math board, get it out, get your math board, have some fun. Get that little whiteboard. It says name the polygon. Then use the markings on the figure to tell whether it is a regular polygon or a not a regular polygon. Name the polygon. Oh, this guy over here. Oh, well, we already know because it was up, up above. Name the polygon. That is a triangle. I can tell right away. You might say, well, it looks like a triangle. It sure does. But what makes this a special triangle is this. We have a line here, here, here. That means all the sides are equal. By the way, you can't have all the sides being equal without all these angles being equal. And you know what, my friends? You actually have an equilateral triangle. Special. Are all the sides and all the angles congruent? Yes. Right? Or if people like to do the old, like, uh, what's his name in the Lion King? Um, 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 Pumba. Where he goes, yup. Okay, there we go. Anyway, is the polygon a regular polygon? Is this polygon a regular polygon? Yes, it is. It is a regular polygon. I guess we just put yes. Again. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. Now, is there anything else? Are your sets in, huh? Yeah, especially now that the music's jamming away. Woohoo! Wow, my goodness, that was like one of the fastest videos on record. I mean, that was quick. But then there wasn't much there, was it? Super easy. Hey, you guys. Thank you for coming aboard again on the Mr. War train. No. Okay. Choo choo. Okay. No? Not good? Okay. That sounds like... All right. All right. We won't do that thing. My friends. Thanks again. Now, live long and prosper.